the, the, the campaign to get elected. Um, it was about trying to find out what uh, was important to our communities uh, and, and then to try and uh, deliver those objectives, those priorities for them. And indeed, when I was campaigning, you know, there's a number of things came, came to the fore. One was around hate crime and the other one was around uh, domestic abuse. This strategy has been launched in December mm -hmm. and as long as we're in post, we will be working on this. It, it's not something that's going to go away. It's something that we want to continue to work on to continue to improve standards and to change the culture that causes domestic abuse. Well, in this project, I, myself and my colleagues, uh, Vera Baird in Northumbria and Barry Coppinger in, in Cleveland, we've got together, mm -hmm. working with the, the, the police, working with the voluntary sector. We have common standards across the whole of the Northeast uh, and that women, whether they be in Berwick or, or, or Darlington or Durham, get the same level of standard and, and that people look after their interests. The, the, the main incidents are physical violence or sexual abuse, mm -hmm. but quite clearly domestic abuse is far far greater than that yeah. because it's about control, so there's a lot of psychological abuse and, and, and mental abuse uh, whereby the, the male particularly is, is controlling the woman and, and indeed the children in many instances. And those are the things that are more difficult to deal with and, and are more difficult to develop uh, effective strategies for. Well, one of the big issues around domestic abuse is that um, uh, people often say, well, why doesn't woman just leave? Well, it's not that simple because they're tied into a, a particular relationship that may be based on, on finance. The, 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 the male may be the only one working. Um, there are issues around the family home, issues around um, the children and so forth. So it, it is very, very difficult for a woman to deal with these things. And if, if we look at domestic abuse, what, what is so dif different about it is that if I were to go down into Chester Street tonight and be assaulted, mm -hmm. which is unlikely, but if I did, I'd be coming home to a safe home. Whereas actually, when you're living with the person who's assaulting you, it's entirely different. So not only is it that physical abuse, it's the psychological impact mm -hmm. of you never safe. You never know when you're actually going to be assaulted. There is no safe place to go to. And that, that is really something that's very difficult to deal with and understand. You know, every police force actually does something about domestic abuse and, and, and every police force will be doing something about International Women's Day, etc. But I'm not aware of where three police forces have come together like this to really put a lot of emphasis on it and, and actually draw it to people's attention. And what we really want to do as well is to get a clear message out to young people about what is an acceptable relationship and what isn't. We must get the message out to young boys that it is not acceptable to hit girls, not acceptable to, to hit women. And for young women as well to realise that you don't have to be hit. We're not going to resolve the problem in, in say, four, five, ten years, mm -hmm. but we can make a big change in that time and we will continue to try and do that. Yeah.